Apostle Robin's study in the Word. My dear brothers and sisters, now we are going to hear the word of God with Reverend Robin who has a special vision to serve the Lord all over the world. She is from United States of America. With the grace of God, she extended her love towards India to serve the Lord even here. So hear the word of God, be blessed and repent. దేవుని నామమున మీ అందరికీ వందనాలు దేవుని చేత అభిషేకించబడి దేశ విదేశాలలో బహుబలంగా వాడబడుచున్న దైవ సేవకురాలు రెవరెండ్ రాబిన్ గారు దేవుని అమూల్యమైన వాక్యమును మన దేశంలో కూడా అందించడానికి మన ముందుకు వచ్చి ఉన్నారు దేవుని వాక్యం విని దైవ దీవెనలు పొందుతాం Well, praise the Lord, this is the one and only, Reverend Robin. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. Glory to your name, Father. Let's just start out praising him right now. Praise you, Father. Praise you, God. We just worship you, Lord. There's no one like you, oh, Father God. Lord, I thank you that the people have ears to hear of your precious word today. Oh, we just celebrate today, Lord, because today we call Easter the resurrection day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, we just thank you for everything that you went through these three days, through your death, Lord, your beating. Oh, God, all that you endured and suffering for us, oh, Lord, and that you went to hell, that God had to turn his back. He could not bear to see all that you were going through. You went to hell, and you died that death for us. You died, and you resurrected and took the keys of death and life from, oh, Satan, he's a liar. You fulfilled the law. You fulfilled the curse of the law, and you took it all upon yourself. Thank you, Lord. We have no words. Thank you, precious Jesus. And then you resurrected from the dead. God brought him up out of darkness and into life, eternal life, the firstborn again man. 
and the Son of God. Eternal life. And now we are coexisting with him. We have eternal life. In Jesus' name, Father, we thank you. We just thank you. Hallelujah. God is good. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. It is Easter. Praise God. We are celebrating today. There is nothing like our Lord. Hallelujah. He loves you today. If you want to know Jesus Christ, all you have to do right now, right now, do you want to know the Lord? Do you want to know eternal life? Do you want to know happiness and joy and peace? All you have to say is, speak to me, Lord Jesus. Come into my life, into my heart. Forgive me and wash me clean of all this world's sin. Come in and be my Lord. I confess you as my Savior, my King, my friend. Thank you, Lord, for receiving me. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. That's all it takes. And you can contact us, uh, Reverend Robin here at Facebook, or call me. I love to hear from you. Pastor Perry there in India at the college, the Provision Channel, Brother Kieran, and all the people there are godly people. Contact them. Let them know that you've asked Jesus into your life. Oh, we would love to rejoice with you. And we'll get you connected with a good pastor, a good church that you can attend and hear the word of God and grow in the Lord. This is your first day. You're born again, a baby in Jesus. New birth. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you again for joining me. I uh, want to encourage you to... Uh, contact about our college. We'd love to hear from you. It's growing all over India. Remember, we are confessing Jesus is Lord over India. Say it every day. Praise you. Jesus is Lord over India. And contact the Provision Channel there, the TV station with Brother Kieran and the staff. Uh, they do wonderful work, as you can see. Uh, they uh, can do your advertisements, your special events, uh, photos. Uh, TV programs, just contact them. Wonderful people of God. But right now, uh, the Lord uh, has blessed me also, not as only as an apostle, but as a psalmist. I love to sing unto the Lord. And the psalmist is, uh, the Holy Spirit sings the word of God to me, and then I sing it to you. I can just hear the word as it comes alive in the psalm. And today it is Psalms 57, 7. It is, my heart is fixed, O God. My heart is fixed, O God. I will sing and give praise unto thee. And you know, that fix means to be steadfast, concrete, can't move me. My heart. Is your heart fixed, God? Oh, yeah. I love the Father God. Trust him today. The blessing of the Lord. We've been teaching other weeks on the blessing of God. My heart is fixed, O God. Let's sing it right now.
Is your heart fixed? Hallelujah. I pray that it is. Thank you again for joining me on this Easter Sunday. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to uh, turn real quick and we'll review what kind of happened uh, on this day. And we're going to turn to the book of John. Oh, thank you again for joining me. This is Robin, and I love you. Let's go to John chapter 20, and I'm going to read a little bit. One, start in verse 1 and see where we go. The first day of the week cometh Mary Magdalene early, when it was yet dark, and the sepulchre, and to the sepulchre, and see if the stone taketh away from the sepulchre. Okay, so let's paint the picture here. Now, for almost three days, Jesus has been there in the tomb, they thought. You know, on Friday, he was beat, tortured, left, dead. Can you imagine? You know that our Lord went to heaven. And everyone, can you imagine? Everyone that loved Jesus. And so what? You know, maybe you've lost a loved one recently, or you have before. You know how it feels to lose a loved one. So you can imagine they lost their Lord. They thought they weren't sure. And so Mary got up. And so Mary got up before the sun. And she got there, it says, and the stone was rolled away. Can you imagine? Can you? Can you imagine what she thought? It says in verse 2 that she took off running and come to Peter and the other disciple whom Jesus loved. That was little John. And said, they have taken away the Lord. The stone's not there. He's not laying there. We don't, where is he? And so they took off running. It says in verse 7, it says the napkin that was about the head and lying with the linen clothes, but wrapped together in a place by itself. Do you know, I learned a while, while years ago, that when someone folds a napkin up, that it means they'll return. They're coming back. <laughs> and so the napkin that was on the head of Jesus was folded and laid aside. That means he was telling them he's coming back. <laughs> Glory to God. Can you imagine what John thought? Woo! And so anyway, as we go on, uh, verse 8, yes. And they went in also the other disciple, which was John, and to the sepulchre, and he saw and believed. For as yet they knew not the scripture that he must rise again from the dead. And so then we're going to jump to verse 11, and it says, But Mary stood without the sepulchre, weeping. I know. She was gone. She thought, where, where did they take my Lord's body? And she wept, and she stooped down and looked into the sepulchre. She saw two angels in verse 12, with white sitting, one at the head and the other at the feet, where the body of Jesus had laid. And they say unto her, Woman, why are you crying? <laughs> Can you imagine? What would you think? Ah! Two angels in their saying, Woman, why are you crying? And she saith unto them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I have not known where they have laid him. And then she's very grief stricken. Very grief. Very lost on the Lord she did. And they said unto her, Woman, weep not. She said to them, and in verse 14, When she had thus said, she turned herself back and saw Jesus standing and knew not that it was Jesus. And then in verse 15, it says, Jesus said unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? Or why are you crying? Woman, why are you crying? Whom do you seek for? Whom thou seekest? You know, Jesus cared that she was crying. You know, he was on his way back to his father. You know, I just wonder if he stopped because he realized that Mary was crying. So he took time to stop before he went to his father. You know, Sonia, why are you crying? Who are you looking for? And in verse 15 there she said, she supposed him to be the gardener and said unto him, Sir, if thou hast borne him hence, you know, if you have taken him, tell me where he, that you have laid him, and I will take him away. Please, 
had we not in the Jesus said unto her, Mary. <laughs> she knew her Lord as soon as he said her name. She turned herself and said unto him, Rabbi, which is Master. Jesus said unto her, Don't touch me, I have not yet ascended to my Father, but I go therein and say unto uh, them, I have ascended unto my brother, and he's talking about Peter and John, and James and all of them, unto my Father, and to my God, and my God. So Mary, can you imagine? But my, my point here right now is that Jesus is stopped. He stopped. I really believe it. He stopped before he's in his way to be glorified in his way. But he ruled Mary. She was so good. Because she loved Jesus. He saved her from a life of torture, of abuse. Many nightmares, and even many days later, he said that he wasn't gone, and she was so overtaken. And he realized he needed to get her attention. He said, Want to get your attention when he says your name? He said, Mary. Oh, can you imagine her heart? And she said, Oh, Master. And she fell short of his feet, and he said, Don't. Don't touch me, Lisa. I got to go to my papa. I got to go to my father first. Go tell my brother, or whatever it is that I'm ascending to, our God, your God. And she went running, I'm sure. She probably ran so fast. <laughs> He's alive. He's alive. Jesus, does he say your name? Does he say your name? Here. No. I heard a bullet time singing. I had a vision of heaven when I was a young girl in my teens. Someday I'll get to share it. But Jesus touched me and walked with me through heaven. Jesus is beautiful. Can you hear him say your name? I hear him still today, Lord. Sometimes when I let things start to get down on me, and he's like, I'm just so heavy. I hear him say, He is a risen. He's a risen. Is your heart fixed on God? Back at Psalms 57 7. Is your heart fixed on God? Fix your heart on the Lord. Let him love you today. There is no one like our God. Amen. He's a risen. Get to know Jesus. Read your word. Go to church. Contact us. I love you so much. My heart is fixed. Oh God. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you. Thank you for eternal life through Jesus. Thank you for resurrection life. Resurrection eternal. The joy life. The life that you have, God, now that we are one with Jesus Christ in you, Father. We thank you. We receive it. We believe it, Lord. We take all that you have given us. Lord, teach the people you love that never fails. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We love you. In your name we praise you, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, this is the one and only Reverend Robin. God bless you. Happy Easter. Happy Resurrection Day. God bless everybody. Jesus is Lord over India. Until next time, God bless you. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus, for believing me. Thank you, thank you, for loving me. Yeah. 
thank you for loving me. మహిమ కలిగిన గాక క్రిస్టు నందు ప్రియ టీవి వర్తమానములు వింటున్నటువంటి ప్రియ బిడ్డలందరికీ కూడా మన రక్షకులను మన విమోచకులను పరిశుద్ధులనైన యేసు క్రీస్తు వారి దివ్య నామమున మరి వందనాలు తెలియపరుస్తున్నాను రాముని గారి చేత ప్రకటించబడినటువంటి సువార్తమానము మీ జీవితాల్లో ఆశీర్వాదాన్ని తీసుకువస్తుందని మీ జీవితాల్లో శాంతిని తీసుకువస్తుందని మీ జీవితంలో అనేకమైనటువంటి ఆశీర్వాదాలకు నిలయంగా ఉంటుందని నేను ఆశిస్తూ ఉన్నాను అలాగనే పరిశుద్ధ గ్రంథంలో మనం గమనించినట్లయితే మార్క్స్ వార్త పదహారవ అధ్యాయము పదహారవ వచనంలో మీరు సర్వలోకమునకు వెళ్ళి సర్వ సృష్టికి సువార్తను ప్రకటించమని క్రీస్తు వారు తన శిష్యులకు ఆజ్ఞాపించి ఉన్నాడు అలాగనే ఆ వాక్యము శ్రేష్టమైనదిగా మనం భావిస్తూ ఉన్నాం మరి లోకమును గమనించినప్పుడు లోకములో కోత ఎంతో విస్తారంగా ఉన్నది కానీ కోసేవారు పనివారు కొద్దిమందిగా ఉన్నారు కనుక మరి పరిశుద్ధ గ్రంథాన్ని మనం గమనిస్తే క్రీస్తును ప్రకటించు పాదములు ఎంతో రమ్యములు సుందరములై ఉన్నవి అలాగనే మరి నీవు హాస్య కలిగినట్లయితే దేవుని పిలుపు నీలో ఉన్నట్లయితే మరి దేవుని రాజ్యములో మీ వంతు పరిచర్య మీరు చేయుటకు అనేక ఆత్మలను రక్షించుటకు అనేక ప్రాంతాల్లో సువార్తికులుగా సేవకులుగా అలాగనే సంఘ స్థాపన చేయుటకు అలాగనే సంఘ కాపురులుగా ఉండుటకు మేము మిమ్మల్ని ప్రోత్సహిస్తూ ఉన్నాం మేము హృదయపూర్వకముగా ఆహ్వానిస్తూ ఉన్నాం మీరు వేదాంత విద్యను అభ్యసించాలని ఆశించినట్లయితే వెంటనే మమ్మల్ని సంప్రదించండి మా యొక్క చిరునామా టీవీ స్క్రీన్ మీద డిస్ప్లే చేయబడతాయి మమ్మల్ని సంప్రదించండి మీ కొరకు ప్రాస్పెక్టస్ పంపించబడతాయి అలాగనే మీ కొరకు ప్రార్థన చేయబడతాయి ఎవరైనా ఆసక్తి కలిగినటువంటి యువతి యువకులు మీ అడ్మిషన్స్ రిజిస్టర్ చేయించుకొని క్రీస్తు సేవలో ఫలభృతంగా జీవించాలని మేము ఆకాంక్షిస్తూ ఉన్నాం మమ్మల్ని సంప్రదించవలసిన మా చిరునామా ద డైరెక్టర్ రెవరెండ్ రాబిన్స్ థియాలజికల్ బైబుల్ కాలేజ్ తుర్ప్రాంతకం పోస్ట్ అండ్ మండల్ ప్రకాశం డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ అలాగనే మా మొబైల్ నంబర్స్ నైన్ సెవెన్ జీరో ఫోర్ ఎయిట్ డబల్ ఫోర్ సెవెన్ ఎయిట్ జీరో అండ్ ఎయిట్ సెవెన్ నైన్ జీరో టూ నైన్ వన్ త్రీ సెవెన్ వన్ మా మెయిల్ అడ్రస్ నాగరాజు పారి ఆర్ఆర్టిబిసి ఎట్ ద రేట్ ఆఫ్ జీమెయిల్ డాట్ కామ్ Apostle Robin's study in the Word.